my parents were at a crossroads with their hardware store so to decide what I wanted to do. I came back to help out a little bit and try to figure out what I wanted to do. And my parents bought the store in 1963, so it's, I'm second generation. So it's been, it's been exciting. This has been a hardware store since about 1887 was what the history kind of shows. So it's been a continuous hardware store since the late 1800s. We had the opportunity to become a do-it center and at that time you had a, an on-site visit. He was on his way here to say that it didn't look like it was going to work out for Hoover's to, to be a rental center, but when he got here and saw our multiple buildings and how everybody interacted with the buildings, he was pretty excited and said, this will be pretty good. So it, it was exciting to be, begin and kind of our start of our rental story also, another program through Do It Best which we were able to develop into. It wasn't anything where we were going to have to go invent how to do it. I mean the the formulas and the ideas and how to do a rate card. Once we got into the rental program, there was a vendor list available. That I do remember that Bill Jacks was uh, was one of the vendors that was, was had a relationship with Do It Best, and that relationship is not only good for the dealer, but it's also good for the vendor because Bill Jacks knows that, that we're you know a reputable company and. There's a lot of quality there, and, and I think the company really cares about the product they're putting out. So I've, I've never had any other reason really to go look for another brand. Uh, we've got a lot of Bill Jacks out there, and we, we know our frame size. And again, we started everything kind of conservatively, but it wasn't too long before we realized we didn't have enough scaffold because in our area there really wasn't anywhere uh, to, to rent scaffold. And the, and the contractors here, typically are you know more uh, inclined to you know not not necessarily own that product but the opportunity for them to rent it our, our scaffold pile is over here and then we just got some more scaffolding in uh, you know there's times when you, you know it gets back we got a pretty good stack of it and two days later you can be looking and it's like it's all back out or and again that's why we have more on order and the, the, the pricing and then again being able to sell scaffold and walk boards when it's when the opportunities have been there it's it, it really has been you know just a good consistent return on investment I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't be without it and e even in these times with things being slow as you can see I just got another order in I, I'm not going to be sitting here without scaffold so I mean there might be some other things I'll sit without but but that's it's consistent.